Justice for Corinne Gaines. It's been more than five years since, or Cody Gaines rather, since his mother was killed right in front of him and he was wounded. Thanks for staying with WJZ at 5.30 tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. I'm Nicole Baker. Now, Corinne Gaines was killed by a Baltimore County police officer during a standoff. This is a story WJZ has been following for quite some time tonight. Attorneys, they are still seeking payment. And we're talking about that record payment that a jury already awarded Cody. That's right. WJZ is live in Towson tonight. Paul Gessler spoke with Corinne Gaines' attorney today and tells us what is next in this case. Hey, Paul. Hey, hey, Nicole and Rick, you and I were in this courtroom throughout the course of that civil trial here a few years ago as well. That settlement for Corinne Gaines's family was reached back in August, but attorneys for the county and Gaines's now 10 year old son will appear back in court here on Friday morning in a continuing legal battle over a $32 million judgment granted by a jury. In 2016, Baltimore County Police shot and killed Corinne Gaines, a 23 year old mother, during a standoff. Police went to her Randallstown apartment to serve warrants on a failure to appear in a traffic case and on her fiance for an assault charge. After six hours, a county police officer fired through a wall, killing Gaines and wounding her five year old son. Not just that he was shot twice, but he watched his mother die in front of him. No criminal charges were filed against that officer, but in 2018, a Baltimore County jury awarded the Gaines family $38 million, a judgment overturned but later reinstated by an appeals court. So far, the county has only reached a settlement with Corinne Gaines' estate of $3 million. The $32 million judgment for her son remains unpaid. Do survivors of police hostility, do their lives matter? A county spokesperson said they've reached out with a settlement offer, saying in part they remained committed to doing right by the family of Corinne Gaines, demonstrated by reaching a resolution with her estate. And they made a significant offer to resolve this claim higher than what they believe the court may award under the law. There are liability caps for state claims, but attorneys argue those don't apply since this was under a federal statute. This 10 year old child who was injured at the age of five has been carrying this nightmare for the last five years. Again, the next court hearing set for Friday morning here at 930. Reverend Al Sharpton is set to attend with the Gaines family to continue to try to apply public pressure to Baltimore County officials. For now, reporting live in Towson at 530 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.